A wise man once yelled at me, I do not care if it's someone pissing into a urinal next to me, I refuse to take second. <laughs> it is a quote about competition like this that embodies my personal role model, my JV basketball coach, Mr. Brown. He is one of the most competitive and fierce people I know. For those of you who aren't aware, to me at least, he's not the most physically imposing person, meaning he's not gonna back me down with his size, but he can yell very loudly. <laughs> And even for like, me being as big as I am, I'm still kind of scared after he tears me a new one. He doesn't yell without a purpose, and that might be hard to believe, because he yells at you because he cares. Behind the very tough and abrasive exterior is a man who wants you to succeed so very badly. He does what every great coach does and hands you the tools to succeed once your time on the court has expired. He taught me three things in our one year together. The first, how to be physically tough and playing through the pain of everyday competition. The second was being mentally tough, and that is to, and that's not giving up when the going gets tough. The third and most influential for me is being passionate about whatever I do. If I sign up for something and I don't try my best to reach my peak performance, I'm wasting my time and the people around me's time. Coach Brown may have only been my coach for one year, but his life lessons and morals he has instilled in me will last the rest of my life. I remember our first practice together. As a team, we ran a drill very, very well, and we got the typical coach praise, good job, guys, way to go hard. <laughs> that praise was replaced with running. We ran and ran, got to go get a drink, shot some free throws, then we ran again. After our basketball tryout turned cross-country warm-up had ended, he brought the team together and explained his favorite, physical, his favorite philosophy for a winning team is to be physically tough. His main goal of the season was to break us down and rebuild us on his terms. He did a great job to make the team physically tough, but he challenged me mentally, forcing me to become a steel trap in the head when it comes to facing adversity. Anybody can be physically tough, but being mentally tough is an entirely different beast. When prompted at 15 years old, with any challenge that I couldn't ease my way through, I would make my hand into a fist and I would just punch my forehead. I thought it was cool at the time, now that I look back at it, I look like an idiot. Mr. Brown thought the same thing at the time, but I just couldn't see eye to eye with him. Eventually, he became sick of this attitude and made me race people like just slouches, like Breck Allward, Drew Hum, and Cam Sutherland. He's the kind of coach to make you work at every disadvantage you have to grow as a person and as a player. After about a week of just constant back and forth battling with people that were way faster than me, and it's no secret I'm slow, I outweigh everybody in the TVC. I became mentally stronger, and I didn't have to punch myself in the head anymore. It was his aggressive attitude towards my weak mind that helped me in other sports and in the classroom when things are definitely not the easiest for me. I know it's not an easy thing for a coach to fix, but I'm very glad he stuck by me with my side. The people around me have noticed a positive change from the experience, and I have noticed one as well. As I began wrapping up my final chapter at Elma High School, I'm starting to realize how much I've taken away from just a few short months of a player-coach relationship. Good coaches will help you with the sport and nothing after the season's over. A great coach will help you with life after the game. One principle I've held very close to me is to be passionate about whatever I sign, for, sign up for. Anything with my name on it should reflect my best effort and my best work and effort. After a rough practice one day, I wasn't putting in everything I had for the team, not making anybody better, feeling sorry for myself. He pulled me aside and he didn't yell at me. He talked to me man to man. And he said, if you sign up for something, why would you not want to try your best? People don't like other people that do not try. Effort is cool. Mr. Brown instilled the idea that work ethic and effort can go a long way in whatever I decide to apply myself for. And I cannot think of a coach who has taught me more than Coach Brown. And it was an honor to be yelled at by him. Coach Brown may have only been my coach for one year, but the lessons and morals he has instilled in me will last the rest of my life. He helped me become a physically tough young man by showing me how much I can accomplish if I decide to tackle my problems head on. He fixed my weak head space by exposing me to unfair conditions and expecting me to still perform with a high output. And finally, he gave me one of the greatest gifts a young man can have at that age, and that is a sense of self-worth self -worth and high self-expectations. Kobe Bryant once said, if basketball is the greatest thing I've done with myself, I have failed as a human. This quote will remind me of Mr. Brown for the rest of my days because while his basketball legacy is something to marvel at, he has gone the extra mile to ensure that when I look back at my high school years, it's not how many points I had, 
It's not how many rebounds I had. It's what he showed me and how I still apply it in my everyday life that will mean the most to me.